face, branch, coming right in the eye. How's it look? I'm on the Pow Wow Trail. The Pow Wow Trail is located within the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. And it's about 250 miles north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. Now this trail, it's three miles in, and then there's a 25 mile loop, and then you hike the extra three miles back out again. So I'm on a beaver dam here. See if I can do both things at once. Uh, so it's about 31 miles total. Now, uh, I came to that Y, took a left, so I'm going clockwise around the trail. Uh, so this trail in this area was devastated by the Pagami Creek fire in 2011. So that was 12 years ago and it's uh, still recuperating. Most of the trail, there aren't uh, uh, mature trees. Uh, there are little trees coming back up, but uh, it's kind of interesting to see, you know, after a forest fire completely devastates an area, how long it takes to rebound. And uh, I gotta give my hats off here to a group called the Boundary Waters Canoe, or Boundary Waters Advisory Committee. They're a volunteer group. There's a lot of them. They come out here probably 10, 15 times a year with a group of 10 to 20 people trying to maintain this trail. And after a fire like that, and you don't have a canopy of trees to protect the trail, it takes a lot of maintenance. So uh, I've been told, I have a friend, Lucas, who's a crew leader on that group. And he sent me this message uh, warning me about the current trail conditions. Unfortunately, the winter was very rough on the trail with thousands of spindly jack pines down across the trail from snow load. Two crews verified these conditions today. In my humble opinion, I would postpone the whole circumnavigation as it sounds like hiker hell. But I know yeah. you're always up for a challenge. So there's that. But I can know what I'm getting into. Maybe going into hiker hell. But let's go. On day one, I hiked 12 miles starting at the trailhead and hiking up to Mirror Lake. If you like ticks, this is the trail for you. This is the second time I've been pulling them off. Probably about 20 of them the first time. Gonna go through again, pick those little bitches off. Hike along, you know, I was talking to you about that Boundary Waters Advisory Group that maintains the trail. And here we are. Hey, look at this, look at this. Here we are. This is Mel. Hi. She, she's one of the leaders. Hi. She was giving me crap because last time I was on this trail, I may have said that it wasn't maintained very well. You did, that's exactly what you said. You said that the trail was not maintained. You know what? The powwow trail. But yes, it is. We've been maintaining it since like 2015. Yeah, and I was it's just the rugged trail. And I was talking about earlier on this video that a trail like this after the burn, it's really hard to maintain. It is, and I think so. all all the Boundary Waters trails are a little harder to maintain because 
Look how they're doing it. Because There's no chainsaw. Yeah, it's, oh, all by, cool. it's all by hand, and we get pretty narrowly winter storms and summer storms in yeah. the boundary waters. So. A lot of wind, a lot of snow. But, but we always want more volunteers, so you and your you and your uh, viewers should come. Yeah, I'll put up. a link to their website, and I'll actually Thank show you. you a little bit on their website right here. Yeah, that'd be so. awesome. All right, guys, cool. thank you for your work. Oh One more worker here. Say hi. <laughs> Have a great trip. <laughs> thank you. I made it to Campfire Lake. Eight and a half, nine miles in. There's a campsite here. You can see that it's occupied by that uh, crew that's clearing the trail. Nice fire grate here. And you're seeing right there is a toilet right next to the campsite. So you can take a crap while you're at your campfire. Not really. It's not fast enough to go down. They're probably setting that, that crew's probably setting it in here. It's a shitty job, but somebody's got to do it, right? Came upon Mirror Lake. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So the Mirror Lake campsite is right over here. I'll show you to you here. This is the campsite. You can see there's a fire grate right here. And uh, some makeshift seating, view of the lake. Not not too much here for uh, tent pads. Um, I decided to stop here uh, and camp uh, just because I thought this was a nice, beautiful spot. It's short of those two campsites that uh, I knew had trees for hammocks. Um, my spot that I hung my hammock in isn't that great, but it'll work. Um, it's on a couple trees that are pretty small in diameter. And uh, if you know anything about hanging hammocks, when you have small trees and you lay down, the tree bends. So my hammock is hung very high. Um, and I'm not deploying my tarp because First of all, if I deploy it and then the trees go down, it's not going to be out that good. Second of all, it's not supposed to rain tonight. But I put it out. So if it does rain and I have to scramble, it's halfway up. But another problem with my area here is this rock is real nice for like piling your stuff on. But I, if I have to stake out my tarp, it's going to be a little tricky. I have to tie it onto a log over here or something, which um, won't work real well. But hopefully, I don't have to figure that out. But I got my chair set up right over here. I'm gonna sit in my chair. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make some dinner. Relax. There is so much firewood around here, it'd be really easy to make a campfire, but it's probably still 75 degrees. I just put this thing on for the bugs. Squirt on some jungle juice on my legs. I think I've literally picked 50 ticks off. I'm gonna be real, real careful about that. Try to check all of my uh, nooks and crannies. I'm not a gymnast, can't see everywhere, but I'll do the best that I can. All right, time for dinner.
On day two, I hiked a rugged 17 miles from Mirror Lake down to the Isabella River. Morning. Been hiking for a while this morning. Got a few miles in. I'm at the Portage Trail here between Lake Three and Horseshoe Lake. Skeeters are out today. This is definitely going to be a tough day of hiking. I just have to uh, be patient. Realize I'm not going to be going three miles per hour. I got a little taste of some of those jack pines bent over the trail, but I'm afraid the worst is yet to come. So it's beautiful here this morning though. The uh, Today's hike so far, uh, well, it's been a lot more challenging than yesterday. Definitely more scenic uh, on the west side and coming up to the north side here with some lakes. The trail uh, is a little more, uh, a little more topo, some more hills to it, and a lot of nice views. Gonna come to a break here. I believe that is Lake Three. All right, here we go, hiker hell. Here we come. Having fun yet? Been hiking for oh about four hours. This is where I came through. Lots of fun, right? Stopped here for a little creek, filtered some water, trail goes back up that way. Making pretty good progress, everything considered. Um, you know, just waking up that early and being on the trail by six. Uh, covering some good miles here before it gets super hot. So hopefully, uh, I think I've made it about halfway through the, the rough part, but uh, we'll see what happens here. You know, it's worse than going through this stuff. Going through it twice. Drop my hiking pole. Luckily, it wasn't back too far. It's definitely nice to uh, store these hiking poles away so I can use my hands here. But uh, gotta keep on checking, make sure. I mean, I really love this uh, Evolve backpack from Waymark, but when you're going through all these jack pines, there's stuff yanking and pulling on everything out here so uh, definitely nice to have the hands but uh, can't go like a bull through a china shop or else things are going to fall off made it to south wilder lake it's beautiful nice little breeze here there was a campsite up that way on the trail i think it was on the same lake pretty rugged territory but the uh fire great is out on a rock point. Oh, trail, right? That, I guess, is the trail. 
You want to go? You want to try to go through it with me? Because that's just what I want to do is be holding a phone when I'm trying to go through here. Oh, there we go. Look downhill here a little bit. Ow, hit the head. All right. Oh, trees. All right, that's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, God, more of them. Ah. This isn't so bad. Oh. All right, got some ankle twisters here. I'm gonna put you away. Just got up from a little lunch. Just started walking. Wasn't watching where I was going. Face, branch, coming right in the eye. How's it look? Do I look tough? Could have been a lot worse. At least I can still see. Ooh. I guess I didn't see that branch that I just tripped on. <laughs> All right. Time to slow my roll a little bit here. I'm tired, it's hot out. Need to be a little bit more careful. Past Pose Lake. Now I'm headed uh, south here again. Should be coming to the Y here in a mile or two. I uh, passed my first backpacker other than the maintenance crew. His name was Michael. Recognized me, gave him a sticker. Said this was his first backpacking trip. Kind of, you know, you don't want to scare people. But in my head I'm going, oh boy. You picked a good trail to go on for your first backpacking trip. It's gonna be a little rough, but uh, I didn't tell him that. I told him, a lot of trees down, be patient. But uh, look like a young, healthy guy I'm not worried about. So the fire that burned the area was 12 years ago. And still a lot of dead standing trees. Take some time, windstorm. Probably fall right on the trail. Need some more maintenance. It just takes some time. Look at all these friends. made it to Isabella River, which is only about a mile away from my car. And I could easily finish tonight and went home. But my permit's for a couple nights, so I decided I'd camp out here. I scoped out this campsite on the way in. Uh, real nice with good trees here. But uh, got the hammock all set up. Have some dinner here, some beef stroking off. So life is good, you know. I showed you all those trees, you know, it was really uh, a difficult hike. Um, I had trees scraping, I got scrapes all over my legs and my arms, and I thought my shoulders were just kind of stinging because of uh, all the branches, but it turns out I got a pretty good sunburn as well. So, sunburn, black eye, ticks, scratches, bruises, <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I can say that on the back end here. So, gonna relax tonight, pack up tomorrow morning, head out. On day three, I walked one mile out from Isabella River to the trailhead. Good morning! It's another beautiful day in the BWCA. Almost back out to my car. 
it was a great trip. So the Palo Alto Trail. If you want to go out on a trail where you don't have to share your campsite with other people like some of these other hiking trails, you want to be in remote area on some spectacular lakes, this is a good choice. That being said, you need to know what you're in for. All Boundary Waters Canoe Area trails are rugged. Much more rugged than Spear Hiking Trail, Colorado Trail, some of those other trails. So it's a little bit more difficult. But that being said, it's worth it. And the Pow Wow Trail, you know, after that burn 12 years ago, it's still recuperating. There's uh, parts of the trail where there aren't many trees. A lot of trees coming up in different areas. And it's one bugger to keep, uh, keep all the trees off the trail and keep it maintained. And they do their best to do that. But you gotta know, you're in for a little bit of adversity for the next few years until these trees grow up and the trail's a little bit more protected. So it's a lot of fun if you're up for the challenge. Almost to my car. I'm gonna drive over to Ely, about an hour and a half, and I have another Bonder Waters permit where I'm gonna go on the Angleworm Trail tonight. So back to back, another fun adventure. Hey, thanks for coming along on this trip. If you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, punch that bell notification. They'll tell you when I put out that angle worm uh, trail video next week. Hey, trees, big trees. We'll see you on the trail.